Hey, welcome back to Melissa Hager TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, something exciting is about to penetrate your eyeballs and your ear holes. I cannot wait for you to see this, hear this. This is going to be exciting. The interview I've been waiting for, we've talked about it a million times on this channel. It's really happening. OMG, you guys. Make sure you click subscribe, ring that bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new vid video. As I've told you guys before, it's Melissa Hager TV. It's not a Greta Van Fleet channel, but gosh darn it, I love promoting this band. I love it. They're great. They're amazing. They're wonderful humans. And today, in studio with me, ready? Drum roll. Josh Kiska! Uh, Josh. Oh my, I swear to God, you guys, I swear to God. Josh! Josh! <laughs> Josh, he was here. I swear he was here. Josh! Oh my gosh, where Josh? On the way. Oh! On the way. Okay, yeah. This it, it, it's not it's not traffic. I, it's it's Frankenmuth. You, know? you scared me. It's traffic. You <laughs> there you here. are. You're here. But it, it's done time. I hope. Yeah, great. Uh, it's yeah. kind of your thing to be a little late, so, right? I like I like uh, flying by the seat of my pants. I like Is that the, the expression. Yeah, That's I like good. that. Okay, yeah. I mean, disappointingly, he has pants on. So <laughs> I do. Yeah, I guess, some kind of pants. I guess that's the thing. So you're here. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. Dude, I can't even tell you on this channel how many times we're like, someday, someday he's going to be here, someday. And then there you are. Well, I, you know, uh, thank you so much for letting me stay in your backyard. <laughs> I've been tenting it up in her backyard. It's been wonderful. I show up. Uh, hardly anybody's even in town. It's like it's like, quiet you're here, so it's quiet. It's so we're good. hanging the out. The weather's been good enough, you know. But it's, it's it has been. Yeah, <laughs> and great. we kind of match. Look at us. We're for very good camping. We're coordinated. We're very matchy, matchy. Like we didn't plan yeah. this. He would. He's straight out of the tent, and I'm straight out of the dirty clothes. Yeah. So I woke up this morning and rolled out of bed and uh, <laughs> did a bunch of things I forgot about, and here I am. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't even do myself up. I just. I mean, kinda, yeah. yeah, coming home to Frankenmuth. Yeah. Was, can you even go anywhere? <laughs> like, I, well, I, It's like there's so many people that I've got to see around this state, so I kind of get, you know, get my, uh, flew in, got the rental car, and I've just been, like, traveling and seeing people. But I've not really been downtown or in town as much, you know. It looks the same. Other than your, <laughs> your backyard. Yeah. Sorry I didn't cut the grass. And wonderful. Oh, How no. do you like those dandelions? I prefer it. Oh, Totally in season. Mm -mm. They're so bad, they make me sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, I've, did, I've been doing all right. I had horrible allergies, but yeah. uh, but not not to dandelions. So I'll way. leave some Allegra outside the door tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take some with me on my way out, if you don't mind. You know? <laughs> no, they'll be fine. Okay, so... Everybody's been talking about it, the new album. Mm -hmm. I'm. Are you sick of talking about it? Are you, I mean, you're so proud. you got to be so proud of this thing. Rumor has it you've sold more than double the albums that were expected. Uh, I mean, that's impressive, dude. Super impressive. Yeah, no, I... It's... Take a good drink. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a problem! No, I, uh, I, uh... Yeah, no, it's been crazy. This, of course, we've been talking to, we've been talking to a, a ton of. <laughs> we've been um, talking to a ton of people out there. We can't there. miss one word. Uh, it's yeah, it's another. It's an, It's the next piece, you know. Right. So yeah, it, um, I'm super. I, this has been another piece of the, of the big narrative of, of Greta Van Fleet in the narrative. Right? I know, and I, I think we all can't wait for this virtual world to come alive. Yeah. Like, well, that's going to be a thing, right? Someday? Who's well, working on that? It would like, have to be. Let's do this. We're working on that. Okay. Yeah. The whole concept, I think, is what has blown everybody away, obviously, because it's... It is a bit of a conceptual e album. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not intentional, I suppose. It is just generally kind of the, 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 one of those stylistic um, things that we do. It's sort of... There's no conveyor belt. I always say, yeah. say this. It's not manufacturing something. It's sort of coming together and creating something honest. And so it, it really does end up kind of conceptual, a lot of our stuff, you know. It's, it is kind of an extension of the previous album, you know, uh, Anthem of the Peaceful Army. It's that same kind of world. It's that same kind of universe with those. It, but we wanted to create a platform 
you know, it's, it's sort of mythological and it's mm-hmm. sort of ancient, it's sort of modern. Uh, but we wanted to create this parallel universe as something to be, as a act as a platform to be able to communicate through. And so that I think is where the conceptual mm-hmm. elements came so in. So cool. For the thing. And but you guys got all this new merch. Like weird <laughs> yeah. merch, Wears. which is fun, is fun. Like people are like, I got my robe, I got my robe, I got my candle. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all this weird stuff they're selling. How fun! Well, that's that, the, the robe is totally Sam. He just walks around in bathrobes yeah. all the time, anyway. So it was like, <laughs> well, naturally, that's appropriate. Yeah, so just, yeah, that's cool. That, yeah. Well, it's it's a huge hit, and I haven't talked to a single even people that don't necessarily. Uh, get to listen to Greta Van Fleet on a regular basis. Like, mm-hmm. I send them YouTube clips and I send them videos, and they're like, Who are these guys? I'm like, Yeah, you're hooked now, aren't you? Like, it's <laughs> so good. It's such a fun beat that we're not bombarded with on a regular basis, you yeah. know? And yeah. I think that's cool that you guys are sticking to that. Oh, yeah. That's entirely. super fun. This is so, this album is totally Greta Van Fleet's own thing. Like, how could anybody take this and compare you to anybody else? You know what I mean? Like, because we've heard that before. (coughs) Yes. People trying to make their little, like, sounds like this, sounds like this. But that's so natural and, you know. Right. The way that people process things. Right. I do it and I catch myself doing it. And being on the other end of it, it's sort of like, I go, oh, don't do that. You know, oh, this this actually has some of these, this element or that element. Sounds a bit like this. And I catch myself doing it. Stop. Don't, you know. Stop it. Don't do that. (laughs) But I think it's just, you know, how we process things. We have to, when we see something, we, we discover something a little foreign, we have to sort of piece it together. Right. You know, but then it, coming up, there's just, it, I mean, there's such a huge eclectic variety of influences that, that we share. And it's across the board. And, the, and, you know, it's older music and there's a ton of newer music and there's diff- and so many genres and, and so many things that we incorporate and that yeah. we just love and it just seems to flow and i don't know what the, what process we even have you know <laughs> so people are like so what's your Tequila. process <laughs> well that's a big part it's a big part of the process naturally yeah we get people ask you know what's the process what's the format and it's uh, I, I don't that I, I think there's we don't really have one necessarily yeah you know well that's because music is just in you i mean i think you guys have proven that over and over again it's just in you guys which is so organic you know what i mean like you're like those crunchy vegetable people you know it's just so it comes so naturally to you and some of us are like give me the cheesecake um but anyways okay that's a different thing something with that uh so what do i do do if i need a refill do i ring a bell yeah (laughs) is there a bell we do we have a hey mom oh Oh, mom's here mom's here do is that all i have to do well, a jet usually it's kind of hey mom. It's, just, it's met with you know uh, refill. Yeah, it's not. No, it's usually you know Uh-oh. you can do it yourself. Where is this? Which is Where my is impersonation, that? actually. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Actually, speaking of your mom, she's been on this channel quite a bit, mm-hmm. like a lot. And uh, I've watched all of the interviews. You've watched them all. I've okay. Watched every one. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly. Uh, while well, you're taking a poop in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was it. Uh, we we all. I mean, what was it? There was a. Uh, oh, here we go. Here she, waitress. <laughs> I, I think I might. I think I might need another. Thank you. Thank you for. Oh, uh, what a sweet mama. Well, so I think she's probably being so nice because she knows I'm about to make sure that you know all the childhood stories she's told us oh. on this channel uh-huh. and several times i've gotten just enough drinks down her for her to <laughs> re-impersonate how she used to call you guys like or when she would be mad at you and she'd be yeah. like joshua yeah that's what i just did it was that it's yeah. sort of like you know i met with uh, is adversity is yeah that the <laughs> It's like, you know, usually, you know, if I were to ring a bell and then you have some uh, uh-huh. <coughs> comedian fairies come, that in, come in, just sort of, or, or whatever, of, of some some sort of, like, so who knows who'd walk out of that door <laughs> on your, sh- your show anyway. Right, right. And, and oh, here's a drink. You might have a butler. Around. Uh-huh. I don't know. Uh, not, not. Not anywhere. Anybody want to be the butler? <laughs> Comment below if you'd yeah, like to be the butler. That would be good. We, we need a butler, you know. Karen's getting, she's not getting any younger. Yeah. She can't be doing this. She's going to break her back. 
<laughs> you know? It's Poor like, Karen. Yeah, but usually it would be like, you know. Uh, well, get what, your own! You one, know, of our, the thing, you know? <laughs> one of our favorite stories is about you and your brother uh, switching places, and someone got a lava lamp with all their school points, and the other one didn't know that oh, he had yeah. no points left. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember stealing all your brother's points? Jake needs to understand psych- psychedelia. <laughs> He needs a lesson in the far and beyond. <laughs> Sometimes he's too earthly. Is he? Yeah. Too bad? Yeah. Well, did you guys switch it's places not a lot? too bad. Yeah, we, we did. We, did you? Yeah, well, we, we learned in, in early grade school, it would have been like kindergarten, that we could do that. Yeah. And then, and then once we learned we could do that, we would keep doing it. And it would just make an ordinary school day a lot more interesting. Well, hello. You know? Hello. School can be kind of boring. It can be. Yeah. It can be super boring. Unless, I mean, I found if you if you were, if I would illustrate. You know, I would just draw pictures mm-hmm. or uh, on everything, the mm-hmm. homework, the textbooks. I mean, it was insane. And uh, with, and eventually in high school, I started writing. You know, screenplays, and I would listen, and that would, they would think, oh, he's making notes. Oh, you here know? comes your butler. Aww. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm very sorry, much. I don't have a tip. Uh, I have matches over here. <laughs> Bahabule. Thank you, Mama. She's so wonderful. Yes, thank you, Mama. Well. So this is going well. <laughs> fantastic, you know. Just a couple more can. of these and we won't be able to talk anyways. <laughs> no, it's going to be gibberish. <laughs> Nobody's going to understand a thing we're saying. It'll be, it'll be insane. No, we. I, I, I got to tell you, it is that's really good. cool that you guys let her share with us. I mean, because that's just a different... Part of She's your got, life. She has her free will. She can do what she wants. It she is wants, cool, you know? though. I mean, she gave us hours, you know. Yeah. Well, she <laughs> she allowed us hours. She let you out. She let you out of the barn door, you know. So you yeah. gotta, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta give her some kudos for that. Yep. Especially you two, Jesus. Oh my God. Two at once. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> and you have no idea. She was in for uh, a whole a whole thing. It was, it was, we were hellions. I I Jake heard. And I, yeah, we coordinated. We were organized. Really? Yeah. You planned shit out. Yeah, we could see each other from across the room, and we didn't need to use words to, to be able to cause absolute chaos in kindergarten. They had us in the same class. And there was so much chaos within the first week that they separated us. <laughs> Here she comes. <laughs> we're try- you can't so keep much, her out if we're talking about so this stuff. So much chaos in the first day. First was day? It always in the first day. day. Kindergarten. Uh, Marianne Ackerman, who was the principal, I talked to her before they started, and she said, I've done lots of twins, had, had a lot of twins come through, you keep them together, they'll separate by first, second grade, the want to change. She called me at the end of the first oh my gosh. half day and said, I think I might have misled you. <laughs> this is how it's going to work. This is not It's not going to work that way with these two, because oh they control the whole classroom. She said she observed and the teacher was trying to do all the things that you do to redirect, and, and they just, and it started in daycare when they were no, like no, eight or nine knew, months old. We knew all of their tricks, you know. There were, so, there was okay, now I'll get ar- out of here. Archaic thing. Well, <laughs> archaic. Our live studio audience. I love it. I don't know if it's a thank you for leaving, and, <laughs> but you're welcome. We just need another chair. But it's like the, um, yeah, the, the, it was just, we, we knew what they were up to, and we were up to our own thing, and we just had to do our own thing. But Obviously, it, I, we were never in another class together until late middle school. Really? Yeah, like uh, seventh grade or something. Oh, my gosh. It, it was that They long. knew better. They they knew better. They The, the district learned, oh, no, that's, <laughs> it's like, it's an atomic situation. If oh, we, my gosh. Uh, like, yeah, we're going to get some combustible molecules or something. <laughs> something bad's going to happen, you know. There's, you know, oh, uh, you know, uh, the school is there and, and they're like, frankly, we've got birds chirping and the trees. Yeah. And the next moment, it's a crater and it's smoking. You oh, know? my gosh. They didn't want that. You know? they, well, I did hear a story about you guys blowing something up in the backyard. Oh, we blow like things up all big, the yeah, time. Yeah, okay. That's, oh, I got you two know. boys. I'm so worried. <laughs> I'm so worried. <laughs> it's, gosh. it's inherent. It's just pyromania. All That's the just time. how it goes. Yeah, I suppose. <sighs> well, your mom has told us several times you guys started, you know, get, like the performance world was very natural from young, mm-hmm. very young. And we actually did an improv class we together. Did. We did, That's yeah. crazy. God, that was fun. A very long time ago. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, you looked about the same. I looked a lot younger. <laughs> 
Come old, on now. Old hag now. Come on now. Comedy's a rough world, let me tell you. It's rough. <laughs> but no, that you, that was yeah. fun, and we and then we had got to do a scene together, mm-hmm. and uh, it was kind of obnoxious, because I had no idea what I was doing, and mm-hmm. you Neither were... Neither did I. Yeah, but it was fun that they even had that, because Frank and Luth is... Cool. Frank and Luth, I mean, they're coming out of their shell a they little are. bit now. I think they're actually doing a pretty good job. Yeah, they know, really are. At this point. And yeah. they love you guys. I mean, they could have just burned all your shit when you guys <laughs> left. It's not, it's not, they're gone. Thank God. Thank they're gone. God, they're out of here. My God. Yeah, they're not shaking the city with their explosives no. and running around <laughs> screaming naked anymore. <laughs> yeah, but, but no, they, 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 it, was, it felt pretty good to be embraced. You know? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So tell me, because I'm the town loudmouth. Nice. And I'm going to tell you, it is a goal of mine mm-hmm. to have a Greta Van Fleet Street or Avenue here oh, yeah. in town somewhere. Where would you like that to be? Because hmm. that's where I'll start camping out. <laughs> you know, if <laughs> What I, street would you like to boot and it gets changed? If I had to think about one, then I would be, I would be, I don't know. I couldn't feel comfortable ever, ever just deciding to do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, I could feel weird. It would be so terrible. You know, for me, I'd be thinking, "Oh my God, this has so, you know, it has its history and meaning." And I would be just, you know, like. But if we paved a new one, I think that would be ideal. Oh my God! Let's think about a new one. I didn't even think about that. We just plow a new street through this town. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. That would be the street. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And then, and then well, we now would, I got to find a place for a new then, street. And then downtown wouldn't be so, you know. Yeah, uh, we could th- stretch th- it out. Vertical thing, mm-hmm. we could, you know, uh, we could stretch it out. Ah. We could, uh, oh, I love it. Could be, it could be good. Okay, city council, here I come. <laughs> All I ask is that we get very, very creative. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we good. well, yeah, we will definitely need your <laughs> input. <laughs> Yeah, great minds think alike, but we all don't seem to be here. <laughs> no. we, we don't all seem to be local. <laughs> no, no. No, that'd be cool. Oh, cool. Ah, how fun. So the uh, there's a lot of people on this channel that are part of business, like in the business world. Mm-hmm. And I know you guys have kept control of yeah. Greta Van Fleet. It is your thing. Nobody tells you guys what to do. No. And as a business, I don't think... A lot of your fans always think about Greta Van Fleet is a business. Yeah. You know, you you got to generate money. Like, that's the whole thing. I know you guys aren't in it for the fame. I know you're not in it for the money. No. But we have a lot of young bands trying to make it, and they're just taking any gig they can get, and they're trying to do something in this world. Do you have any advice for them from the business side? Like, what makes your name stick? Like, what makes you a brand? 